Hey everybody, welcome to this new video. In this video, we will be talking about interface in object oriented design. So first of all, we'll see the definition of the interface and then we'll create a very basic mini project that will give us the clear understanding of interfaces. So first of all, interface is just like a class, but it's actually an abstract. So if we have an interface, in the interface, we just have to define the methods without body. We just have to define the return type of the method and what are the parameters that method takes and not the actual body. The actual body is defined by the class that implements that interface. Okay, let me show you. Let's say if we have an interface i1, okay, it have two methods. We have method m1. We just have to define this method and not the body. Okay, so we have defined m1 and then we have defined the method m2. Okay, actually we haven't defined the method. We just have written a single line, the name of method, return type and whatever parameter it takes. Okay, this is the interface and let's say there is a class c1 that wants to that want to implement this interface. Let's say it want to implement this interface. Then there is a deal and that deal is all the methods in this interface must have to be added or used by this class so when we implement this we have method m1 the same uh, if we have any parameters we have to do it and then we also have to define the body okay since we have two methods so we also have to include the second one as well so this is m2 and here we have to define m2 as well so this is a promise that whenever we implement a method, whenever we implement an interface, we have to, uh, you know, all the methods in that interface. Let's say uh, another class implement this interface, let's call it C2. So it also have to implement this method M1 and M2 as well. Now here is one thing that is, these class can use these methods differently according to the use case so we have this method m1 in class c1 so it can write whatever code it uh, it wants according to the use case similarly we can write whatever code we want in m2 and it could be entirely different in c2 okay so we have to we can write different codes that do different job okay this is what an interface is okay we just define the abstract that these are the methods that you must have to use when you implement this interface okay so that's all about the formal definition and it will be more clear once we'll do that mini project so let's do it so uh, let's create a new project and let's call it interface demo right so hit finish and this is the project that we have so uh, first of all let's create an interface so go to sources we have our package right click on this package we have new java class and here we have this interface so let's call it telephone so here we have this interface called telephone so what are the things that we have in a telephone so first we will check that if the power button is on or not that means the telephone is connected to power or not so the first thing is power on okay and the next thing that we can have in a telephone is a, we can dial a number so we have another thing called dial a number and the next thing what we can have we can answer a phone call so let's write it answer phone call okay and what are the next then uh, we what we can do is we can uh, call to another phone so we have call another phone and the next thing is uh, uh, what are the next we have is phone is ringing or not is ringing right so these are the things that we have in a telephone so let's create all the 
you know methods in this interface so the first one is power on so void let's call it power on okay it is void so this is the first method and this is not this is not going to be like this because we don't have to define the body we just have to define the method so we have void power on and the next one is dial a number so void and let's call it dial and this thing takes a number and this number is going to be of type string so let's call it phone number okay and the next thing is uh, we have to answer a call so void answer and the next thing is we have to um, okay we have to call and we have to check that the, the number that we are calling or the call is coming from is our number or not that is this phone number so we have boolean and let's call it call phone next method and the one, next one is boolean is ringing okay so these are all the methods that we have in this telephone right so we are done with this interface of telephone now we have to implement this in other classes so first of all we have to create a class so right click new java class and uh, let's create a class of telephone and we have desk phone let's say or a landline so this is the class and we have to implement telephone so implements and we have telephone right so it is showing error and let's see what the error is it says class desk phone must either be declared abstract or implement abstract methods power on in telephone this is for this is saying that you have to implement the methods from this interface okay we'll do it in a moment but before that let's create something we have private end because desktop dex phone have a phone number so let's call it my number and what the next thing is we can have a boolean that will check that if the phone is ringing or not so private boolean is ringing okay and also let's create a constructor so we have public and let's call it desk phone so what are the things that we can pass in desk phone we just pass one thing okay this is going to be string not integer right this number so it will just take a phone number so let's call it my number let's initialize it this dot we have my number is equals to my number so this is the only thing that we have in a constructor now let's implement all the methods so control plus n and we have implement methods these are the methods that we have to implement that is in telephone interface click ok and we have all the methods over here and as you can see we have the error gone from here so here you can see we have this power on dial answer call phone the return type is boolean so here in this telephone we don't have the body of the methods but when we implement it we have all the all the methods have a body so now we can define or all these methods according to the use cases okay so the first method here is power on so here um, if it is a landline uh, there is no uh, you know sense of powering or on or, or, or not because that is the concept of mobile phone landline is connected to power so it is always on so we can say uh, when this method is called uh, desk phone does not have a power so desk phone is always powered right we can say it and okay we are done with this power on method and the next thing is we have this functionality of dial so we can simply say system dot out dot printlet and now ringing and whatever the phone number is and here on desk phone so this is the method of dial phone and let's have the method of let's write something for this method called answer so when we can answer a phone we can only answer a phone when it is ringing okay so uh, we have if is ringing is true then we have to print what we have to print answering 
द डेस्क फोन राइट एंड इन द एल्स पार्ट वी कैन से फोन इज नॉट रिंगिंग okay makes sense and when once we have answered the phone then we have to set is ringing to false so we are done with this is ringing method and the next one is call phone now if first of all we have phone number okay uh, the return type here is boolean and here when we have this method called call phone here this takes an input of string and this one is also called phone number okay and here we also have to pass this so string we have phone number okay now we have to check that if phone number that is passed in a method is equal to my number that means our phone is ringing okay if that's the case what we have to do we have to set is ringing to true because if you receive a call phone starts to ring and we have to print simply phone ringing right and the next thing is okay now we just have to handle the else part so the else is is ringing false now here we can say what we can okay let's leave this now in the end we simply have to return as ringing it can be either true or false depending upon the case okay now we have as ringing method here we'll simply return as ringing that's it so we are done with this now let's create the object of this desk phone so we have desk phone and let's call it my phone is equals to new desk phone and it takes a uh, we have what we have phone number so let's write a phone number we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the first thing is we have to power on the phone so my phone dot power on okay this power on method doesn't make sense when we have this dex phone because it is always powered up here in a moment i will create a mobile phone so in mobile phone phone can be either on or off right so in that uh, scenario it will make sense so what we can do we can uh, call someone so my phone dot we have call phone now here uh, let's write my own number so okay and what we can do uh, we can simply my phone dot answer that's it so let's run this and see what we have first of all so here it says desk phone is always powered this is for this line of code and then we have phone ringing so because we have a call to this number which is our number then it says phone ringing and then answering the desk phone because phone is ringing so this is how we have an interface okay we have interface defined all the methods and then we have used all these methods here now let's create one more class right click on this new java class and let's say we have mobile phone okay and this also implements all the methods from telephone okay now here we have few more uh, things like we had in desk phone so we have private int okay not int it is string and we have phone number okay similarly we have private boolean is ringing now let's create a constructor okay let's i can simply copy everything from here to here and this will be first of all mobile phone okay and here it is going to be my number yeah it all makes sense now we have power on and we have dial we have answer we have call phone okay now here are few changes when we call this method power on so uh, okay first of all let's create one more field here it is private boolean is power on okay now when power on method is called we will set it to true so is power on is equal to true 
and what we will print we will print phone phone powered on okay and we have same method when we are dialing someone and when we are answering someone we have to check that if is ringing and at the same time we will check that if is power on or not because then only we can answer when the phone is powered on okay then here okay here also we have we can only call someone when or we can receive a call when phone is powered on is power on or not okay so yeah that's it phone is ringing yeah everything is fine now let's create uh okay first of all let me comment everything from here and let's create a mobile phone so we have a mobile phone and let's call it my phone so request to new mobile phone and we have to pass in the phone number we have one two three four five this is the phone number and let's copy everything from here and paste it here so we have we are calling at this phone and then answering one thing that i am not doing here is we are not powering on the phone so we have let's call this method first we have my phone dot power on i am not calling this method it is commented right now let's run this and see what happens so phone is not ringing okay so first of all let's fix something here in the else part let's remove everything we don't want to uh, show this first of all when phone is not ringing and here when we are calling the phone and in the else part what we can do is we can print either wrong number either wrong number entered or phone is off phone is off now let's validate this thing and see what happens let's run this here it says either wrong number or phone is off because we haven't turned on the phone so let's turn it on okay now let's run again and see what we are getting here it says phone powered on okay it's still saying either wrong number or entered phone is off why it is saying wrong number because here we have dialed different number we have 1 2 3 4 5 but it is 1 2 3 4 let's run it again and see what happens this time so phone powered on phone ringing answering the desk phone okay it is saying answering the desk phone here uh, what i can do is i can simply say answering the phone that's it so it says phone powered on phone ringing answering the phone and this is fine this time so this is how we uh, use uh, interface we have all these methods defined we don't have any body and then we have created this class of desk phone here we have implemented all those methods and used according to our need and then again we have created this mobile phone class and here we have used everything according to our need so this is the main purpose of the interface we define abstract and whatever class implements that uh, interface use that thing according to the need okay so this is all this was a very basic project to just get the understanding of how interface work this is not any actual project but uh, i will be working on more complex projects on this topic and will be uploading soon so that's all about this video and i have also created a couple of more videos on uh, projects based on object oriented design so you can check that out and a link will be in the description down below so yeah that's all about this video and hope to see you in the next video